Every year there is a different strain, a different vaccine, but most doctors will tell you the best defense against the flu is to get vaccinated. That's also what uh, three-year-old Emily Lastinger's family will tell you, and they know what they're talking about. 14 years ago, their little girl got sick, and days later, she died. Here's Jobin Paniker. At the time, I was like, this, these walls are... A ruined. A parent can relate but, uh, to paint on a wall. These are all I've got. To a couple in Colleyville, they are presented like, like Picassos. Not a lot of parents take that off the wall and frame it, but... But worth more when you realize really whose fingers that. made them. At that point, none of us had ever had the flu. It's now been 14 years. Emily would be 17 now. In the lasting her home, would be and what ifs are said and thought often. You know, it just makes me think of her. Emily was three and a half years old, a healthy child who died just three days after parents learned she had influenza. To a parent that thought, oh, it's just the flu, just the flu killed my child. I was just the flu. You can actually see the, the tape, you know, that where her IV was. Now with a nonprofit right called Families There's Fighting no Flu, the their message is simple, educate and vaccinate. You can't wait and say, I'll wait and see if this if this vaccine is a perfect match this year. The Lastinger said in 2004 there were no recommendations for vaccinations at Emily's age. That has changed since. When your parents die, you bury them in the ground. Uh, when a child dies, you bury them in your heart. And I, and I think that's true. For the Lastingers, there is guilt and pain. That does not go away. But it can be painted over by imprints they see every day. I'm so thankful to have these because there's only so many things I have from her. Jogan Paniker, Channel 8 News. The Centers for Disease Control recommends that everyone six months and older get a flu shot. And adults get no pass from